Uh, Pro Compression, doing a little main review of these guys. These guys are really cool, just sent us a ton of stuff to test out in different sizes, so we've been kind of handing those out to other people and letting them test it. Uh, I've had uh, a few workouts in these so far. I've done biking, I've done running, uh, road running, trail running, a lot of brick stuff where maybe I'm out on my bike for an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, sometimes three and then you know you got to run after that 45 minutes to an hour with some uh, faster paced stuff and really like these guys so far what I'll find with pro compression you know it's gonna be real similar to what you're what you're used to 70 uh, 70 percent poly pro 20 nylon 10 spandex but what a, my complaint with a lot of compression is that when I'm putting it on you have to have a black belt and karate to get that over your foot and over the ankle area and then up. These guys are true to size, so I tried testing the large, extra large. I'm a size 10, and I really should be the small, medium. And the large, extra large is just a little long on my leg. However, even testing that, it still stayed up the whole time when I'm out there for a three-hour you know, effort and never have to adjust it, never feel like it's slipping around or anything. Really like the hand on these and their compression is a little bit that you can kind of see if I give you a good look on the yellow it's kind of a almost a ribbed effect on the on the material itself as it comes up that runs with your leg it's not like it runs across it so it's felt really good I mean it's a really good mixture of being thick enough that it, that it really holds well but being thin enough that it breathes and it's a you know it's a year-round compression that you could wear in the summertime Obviously, you know, they make a bunch of different colors and ladies, I, I do know they make some pink, I'm pretty sure. I saw an orange on their website. And so they're making it a lot of different colors for you. And the other thing I noticed taking them off this morning was that when you take it off, usually that ankle area, if something's a little too tight, it's really hard to get them off. These pulled off really easy this morning, threw them in the hamper to get washed. And, and uh, that's the other thing, they've been washing really well. Too. they look exactly the same they don't look used or or dingy they don't get uh, you know a pilling effect and, and get some gobs of material bunched up on there or anything like that so so far I really like real compression I didn't know anything about them before we found them and said hey can we test some of your stuff and uh, right now it's actually a company I really like a lot of the companies are making calf sleeves but maybe not compression socks and I'm a compression sock guy if I'm gonna wear sleeves I might as well just have the socks on as well and these fit really nice on your foot too so you'll see on that if I show you you know uh, basically ankle here still a nice R trap with the same material here and then the transition into more of this technical fabric where maybe this is a little bit thicker underneath your foot real thin on the toe here so it's nice and uh, aerated through the top as well just a real slick feeling sock really soft on the hand and just you know with the stretch of it goes on and off easy but it doesn't stretch so much that it, it feels loose or anything so I like it really